Hi guys, welcome to another quick packet card effect. This one uses a small packet of cards. In the description, I put that it's to do with Christmas. It, the trick itself isn't really Christmas, but it's a great one to perform over the holiday period because that's when we get together with friends and family. I want to show these very quick uh, packet effects where they can get involved in playing the game. Now this is called the Fox and the Chicken for obvious reasons. Some of you may remember the fox and chicken conundrum, the puzzle where you have to get them across the river. Well, this is the card game of the same. Let me just show you the cards. We have a fox, we have a bag of grain, and we have a chicken. Now, as it plays, each card is higher than the other and you win the game if your card beats another. It's a bit like top trumps. For example, the fox can eat the chicken, so this card would win. If I had these two cards, the chicken would eat the grain, and that would win. And of course, foxes can't eat grain, and that would kill them. So that would be a winner on that one. So there's the three cards that we've got. Now you can get the spectator to shuffle the cards and mix them up, cut them, do whatever. Once we've mixed them up, we're going to give them a demonstration by dealing out the mixed up cards so nobody knows what they are. And you'll demonstrate that what will happen is you'll pick a card and they're going to pick a card. For example, I've picked a grain. Now they get a choice of either one of these cards here. Now they can either choose the fox or the chicken. Now in this case, it would be great if they picked the chicken because of course they would be a winner because the chicken eats the grain. So I'll go first. I'll take this card and put it over here. I want you now to pick any one of those cards, this one or this one. Now they will come along and they can pick maybe that one. I'll pick a card. They can pick a card from either packet. There's no force whatsoever. They might take the same one as me. I'll pick another one. They get to choose another one as well. And that leaves us with three. And I'll tell you what we'll do. With these three cards, I'm going to mix these up. And I'm going to get you to choose. Now, this is not a magician's force. Okay, I've got two cards here. Pick whichever one you want to keep. Remember that. You're going to keep the one you pick. Now let's say that they pick this one. I've already got mine. I can't change my mind. There's the card game over. Let's see how we did. Well, on the first one, I chose the bag of grain. What did you choose? Oh, unfortunately you chose the fox. That means I win the first game. Let's see what you chose for your second one. You chose the chicken, looking good. I chose the fox. That means that I beat you. Let's do this together. You chose the grain. I chose the chicken and I win third time lucky. Finally, if we take a look here, I chose the fox. Remember you had a choice. I said the one you asked to keep is the one that you are going to play with. You chose this one. You could have chose this. And sadly you lose because my fox eats the chicken. You should have picked this one. That way you would have won at least one game. And there you go, four games, four out of four, I'm the winner. This particular effect is uh, as old as the hills, it really is. There's so many different variations of this card trick. Some people perform it with tarot cards, ESP cards, number cards, uh, and also, I think Tenyo a few years ago released a trick that used it as the rock, paper, scissor trick. This one I quite like, and I came up with this idea of the fox, chicken and grain because it makes a variation, and a lot of people are familiar with that puzzle. 
plus the fact if you're playing with kids the pictures are very cute that you've got here the chicken and the fox it's very simple I'm just going to go through it if you watch the video back or oh, by the way uh, you can make these cards up in the description there's a downloadable PDF file that you can print out cut these up I just print these onto card or if you've got blank faced playing cards you could just either draw the pictures or just write the word grain chicken and fox on there if that's easier for you but this is the cards that I've got you have three of each three grain chickens and fox all you've got to remember is the sequence of events at the start because after that it's almost self-working but the cards are stacked fox grain chicken at the face fox grain chicken fox grain chicken so they're repeated throughout now like any stack system you can cut the cards as many times as you like mix them up it doesn't disturb the order you then deal out two piles of cards. Now, one of them will have five cards, one will have four. What you do is you say, let's just have a, an experimental game so you know how to play. You take the top card off the pile that's got the five on, the chicken. When you turn over these two, they get a choice, you say, of either of these. You would say that in this situation, you would be better off picking the fox and not the grain. And what you do is you put the fox over here. Whichever one is going to beat the sample card. You turn this back over. Now, this is the deal. Why did I put that over there in the demonstration? Well, because when I picked this up, Remember, this card came from here, but when you return it, you return it to the bottom of this packet. And this one, which originally came off here, you flip over and you put to the bottom of this. So if you think about it, you just swap over those two cards. Now, this is the clever part. I'm going to pick my card from the four pile this one's got five cards in it the four pile i will always pick my first card i always go first what i do is i turn them face up so we can actually see now i've got a chicken now at this point the way the cards are stacked the spectator can never win let me show you what i mean they get a choice of picking either of these but you'll see they're both the same and they're both the grain so whichever card they pick they're going to lose so let's say they pick from this pile and put that over here now as soon as they've done that remember these would be face down as soon as they've done that your next card will always be the opposite pile to what they took their card from now he took from here so i'm going to take my second card from here which happens to be the grain once again they get a choice of either of these but let me just show you how it works they can't win so they choose a card from any of these let's say they took it from here because they took their card from here I'm going to pick my third one from the opposite pile and put it here they get a choice of either of these if they took this one it'll be the chicken and if they took this one it'll also be the chicken now let me just demonstrate what happened in the performance I did for you they took this one so I was left with three cards so just follow the routine as I did but say if they took this one here now you're left with three cards all you do is you gather these up and you mix them up now if you've marked these cards you can do it face down because you need to know where each card is i just basically face them towards myself as though i'm going to have a free choice of a card but i'm not making that obvious i'm not saying i'm going to pick a card you just say look i'm going to give you two cards to choose from what i tend to do you can remove any i tend to remove the fox out of the way I then remember what I've got in each hand, the chicken, the grain. 
Okay. I then say to the spectator, I want you to pick one of these. Whichever one you pick is the one you're going to use. Now, say if they went for the grain. There. I know that I've got the chicken in here. You forget all about this. That's been eliminated, although you never specified that. Once they've chosen that, you know that they've picked the grain. You will then say, are you sure you want that? Okay, you've left me with that. So really it looks as though the spectator has picked your card and their card, which is a stronger effect. But what if they took the chicken? You say to them, are you sure you want that? You don't want this, and you throw that away. You then come back to him and say, I've already chosen my card. That's why you kept it close by. I've already chosen mine, I can't change my mind. But you had a choice, and of course, you will win on the last game. Watch the performance a couple of times, you'll get it. Once you've got this, it's a great one just to carry around with you. The chicken and the fox. Practice and enjoy.